Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do monthly favorites. If you guys are going to inquire about this look, I already filmed it. Don't worry, girl. I got your back. I got your back, boo boo. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started because I do have some stuff that I've been trying out this last month and I'm in love. So let's go ahead and get this video started after this, after this, this ambulance passes by. Then we can get started. Then we can get started. All right, you guys, so I'm pretty much going to go in random order because I just have things thrown in front of me and I'm really hoping I don't forget anything. I'm really hoping I don't. So for the first thing that I'm going to talk about this month, you guys have heard me already talk about this in my previous videos, but I said I wasn't sure about it. Anger. Now I am definitely for sure. So I'm going to talk about the Anastasia Glow Kit. I love this kit. I'm so happy I ended up getting it because when I actually swatched it on my hand, I was not impressed, not one bit at all whatsoever but actually playing with it on an everyday basis I ended up falling in love with it and I just really like the fact that it comes with four shades these shades mind you they're huge and you can also refill them as well which is a total freaking plus all the shades I love all of them I first picked out the glow kit in gleam sorry it has a little bit of lipstick here because I did swatch the darker one the that glow kit but I wasn't I don't know, I just was more drawn to these colors in this one, personally. So, I love this, you guys. If you guys are, like, iffy about it and you haven't tried it, try it. Trust me, you will fall in love. What I really love about it, especially, is that you can create a very, very soft, glowy highlight. And then you can intensify it if you want to, too. And it doesn't look really cakey on the skin, which is totally a freaking plus. Because a lot of powders that I tend to place on my skin look very textured or looks too powdery. And this doesn't do that at all. So I absolutely fell in love with this. Highly recommend it. And it's good if you're a freelance artist to put in your kit as well. Okay, you guys. You hear that in the background, that car beeping? I'm definitely going to try my best to tune out the background noise as much as I can. But it's been going off for a long time and literally I have no control over it. And I want to still film this video. So we're going to go with it. If you hear it, I sincerely apologize. But anyways, another product that I wanted to talk about was the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Now, I was using the Maybelline palette for such a long time, every day, especially because it was convenient. It had the perfect contouring shade for me personally, a really beautiful blush, and a really nice highlight. And I was just using that every single day that I neglected all the other products that I had. I tend to go to phases when a lot of things, and then I always want to end up trying out something new. So I pulled this baby out, and I was like, what the heck, girl? What were you doing? Like where, what were you doing? Like why? Why did you do that? Why did you do that to yourself? I love this palette so much and it's perfect because it's a drugstore, super inexpensive and you guys know Wet n Wild, they have bomb ass products. Like you guys don't sleep on them. This one is definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands. So um, mine is in the shade uh, Dulce de Leche. I believe there's only two different contouring palettes and I think this might be the darker one. So we have the highlighting shade here. I actually have it on today underneath my eyes to set my um, concealer and then the contouring shade I do have it on as well to contour my whole face. If you guys are looking for a really really great contouring palette and you don't want to spend too much money I would definitely highly suggest the um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow contouring palette for sure. Alright so now moving on to skin. So this product is something that I wanted to try for a long time. I don't know why I never just caved in and bought it. And then I was talking to my cousin about it and she was like, girl, you need to get it because it's bomb. So happy I did because I absolutely fell in love with it. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. Oh my God, you guys, this is less than $20 first of all. And it's so amazing. I highly recommend this for all skin types. They do have another formula and I think it's either for really oily skin or really dry skin. I don't remember. It's probably for really oily skin, I think. But this freaking moisturizer is everything. I have um, combination skin, so my skin is like dry in certain areas and oily in the T-zone. 
and I just love this. It makes my skin feel so good and hydrated. It's a gel formula, but it the way it sinks in into your skin is just like, I can't even explain. You have to try it out. And it has a really soft cooling sensation, which I absolutely love. This is actually also oil-free and non-commutogenic as well. So it says it instantly quenches the skin and keeps it looking smooth, supple, and hydrated day after day. Highly agree. Try it out if you're looking for a new moisturizer. I just love this. This is such a great moisturizer. Nothing but great things to say about this. Another skin product that I wanted to talk about was a skin cleanser. And this is a Neutrogena Deep Clean Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to oily skin. I love this as well. This is actually two Neutrogena products. I didn't even realize that. But this freaking cleanser is so bomb. Oh my god, did I mention this in my last favorites? I don't even remember I might have but it's so good if I did that I'm mentioning it again this is such a freaking great cleanser super inexpensive you don't have to pay hella money for a cleanser girl because right here this will do the trick for you it's definitely keeping my skin nice and clear really really fresh and radiant because I am so sensitive that I easily break out to things I have a pimple right here by the way but this has been keeping my skin on point it's been keeping it in check girl so I highly recommend this if you're looking for a really great and expensive cleanser it's really really bomb okay so now the last thing that I wanted to mention for beauty favorites is going to be a liquid lipstick and this is ColourPop's liquid lipstick in the shade Bumble. I love this. I actually wear this a lot to work. I'll swatch a little bit of this so you can see the color. It's such a beautiful rosy shade you guys. Look at that. That is so freaking gorgeous. Oh my god. This and like some mascara foundation and blush girl you are good to go. I definitely personally think it's wearable for the office because you can pop on some chopstick with this and it's nice and nourishing if you want a pop of color to wear on an everyday basis or just anytime you want. I promise you guys, I know I told you this before that I'm going to be working on a makeup tutorial for like work in the office or just any type of work environment where if you just want to wear something really, really subtle. Uh, I got you girl. I promise I will get to it. I promise. The ColourPop liquid lipsticks, they're six dollars, super inexpensive, definitely long wearing. This personally doesn't crack on my lips at all. I just put this on first and then I put a chopstick on top of it and I'm like good to go for a few hours. When I do eat, especially because I put on chopstick, it definitely will wear off a little bit, especially into the inner rim of my lips, but I can always retouch up on it and it's not a big deal. I love ColourPop liquid lipsticks like you cannot go wrong with it and it's freaking six dollars compared to like 20 and above from a bunch of other high-end products you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying can't go wrong with that all right and lastly uh i know it that was the last beauty product but this is kind of like a beauty slash maintenance skincare product uh this is the cow shed lippy cow natural lip balm i use this thing every day and it's kind of funny because i don't even know where they sell it i'm gonna have to look for it online love this freaking chapstick i'm so addicted to it i actually found it on united when i was flying with them first class it, they could they usually give you like a little pouch and it has all these little um essentials in them so i have like three of these and i think i will die if i run out because this might be possibly my favorite freaking lip balm slash chapstick and it's just so easy and convenient not in a tube not something you have to like squeeze out it's just super convenient and amazing i want to talk about it because i never talk about it and i literally use it on an everyday basis and if i don't have it in my possession i will freak out like no lie so that's how good it is okay we're almost done you guys i'm only going to mention two more beauty products sorry if i keep playing with my hair it's kind of in the way you know how that is okay so a non-beauty related product is something that is for your health these are the vitafusion multi-vites adult vitamins it's complete vitamin gummies you guys i don't know how long you've been following me but if you guys know me i hate taking multivitamins in pill form like i absolutely hate it it makes me gag it makes me want to vomit those pills are freaking so huge so i'm like a big kid and i want to taste some gummies you know what i'm saying it tastes like a good and then i'm like yo this is like vitamins but it tastes like gummies all for that all for that business 
these taste so freaking good you only pop in two gummies every day you can take in whatever the heck you want and I love this and it's such a huge bottle I got this oh my god I sounded like a ballet girl I got this on Amazon and I don't know I just love these I take these every day so if you guys want to take multivitamins and you hate the way that it tastes try these you will love them they taste hecka good they don't taste like medicine at all or any type of powdered texture any type of powder substance they don't taste like that so highly recommend these for sure lastly i wanted to talk about what is on my eyes i am wearing a desio contacts you guys have been seeing it a lot on my channel as of lately and especially a lot on my instagram or social media if you do follow me there i love these contacts they look so natural i literally have I think five or four shades now and they do have sales in and there where you can literally buy two and then get one free and they're gonna be having some new shades coming in May which I cannot freaking wait because I think it's gonna be perfect if you have brown eyes and I just love these they're so fun to play with it's just something different I know people are like contacts are like played out but I don't know I just like to play with them. I think they're just fun, you know what I mean? Like, who cares? No, but for reals, like, I really love these contacts. They're super comfortable. These are probably the most natural contacts I've ever worn, ever. So I will put the link down in the description box. I'm not sponsored by far whatsoever by Desio. So they're a little bit of pricey, but I promise you they're super natural. And if you want to play with some contacts, they have some new ones coming in in May. And they just, they're bomb. That's all I can pretty much say about that. So, yeah, that is going to be it for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please let me know your monthly favorites, some products that you've been trying that you've maybe never seen on this channel, anything like that, or something that you can totally vibe with me on the stuff that I've mentioned. Maybe if you've never tried these products before. I don't know, girl. Let's just talk. Let's talk below. You talk to me. I talk to you. That's how it works here. <laughs> And if you guys enjoyed it, I already said, please give it a big thumbs up. Pretty sure I did. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Welcome. I hope you subscribe and you join the family. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.